Hello and welcome to Informatica's Global Customer Support Knowledge Base video session. My name is George and I'm going to be providing a project creation overview of the Informatica Test Data Management Data Subset for SAP Product version 61D. Some of the topics we'll be discussing today is what is a project, what is an operation, what is a group, an entity, and a template. And then I'm going to be providing an example of how to create a project. Okay, so what is a project? Well, projects are created by users to determine what tables and content of those tables will be provisioned from a one source SAP client to a target SAP client. When we create projects, we assign a project uh, either a single operation or multiple operations. And an operation consists of either an entity, a group, or a template. A group is typically a single table or multiple tables that will be provisioned in their entirety. There will be no selection criteria for a group. There is, an, there is a uh, exception to that where you have a single table group where you can assign a selector to that uh, group. But we'll talk about that in another video session. What is an entity? An entity is a group of related tables uh, pertaining to a specific SAP business area that can be sliced by time or other criteria so it has a selection criteria that uh, will then provision the data from the source to the target in a manner such that that particular SAP object will be fully functional on the target side. Okay, and that brings us to a template and the template <coughs> is a combination of uh, operations uh, excuse me, a combination of groups, entities the, uh, that make up the template. For example, today we're going to be, use a, be using a template that is delivered by with the product for employee data that will move employee data over uh, to the target side with their payroll results, their master data, their cross-application timesheet, all the information that's needed to go with an employee. And we'll be able to uh, slice the employee data by specific employees. So we'll show you that in the example. So let's go ahead and create a project and we, you can see how this works. Okay, the first thing we need to do when we create a template is to log on to the products area menu and we can do this by put in the, by putting uh, excuse me, get st slash main in the transaction area of an SAP area menu and this will bring us to the uh, data subset for SAP area menu. Now you'll see a uh, runtime folder so we want to expand that and then you'll see project builder and so we're going to go ahead and double click on the project builder and that brings us to the project management screen and I'm going to select expand the project uh, folder here and as you can see I have no projects created so let's go ahead and create a project so I'm going to go ahead and create uh, click on the create icon to create a project and the first thing I'm going to do is give it a name and I'm going to call it uh, uh, employee template example and I'm just going to call the description the same thing and then I'm going to assign it at a endpoint and there are other video sessions pertaining to endpoint points but uh, basically an endpoint is a assignment to an RFC connection which then defines the target uh, client that we're going to be going to and I'm on target UF0 client 101 right now so uh, my target I'm going to pick as UF0 client 102 so I'll be provisioning data from 101 to 102 the next uh, field here is the package size and uh, its default is 5,000 so for each table that's being provisioned uh, it will be extracting 5,000 records at a time and provisioning that to the target system posting it coming back in the next 5,000 
so far until uh, all of the data selected data will be processed. Uh, the threads we're not going to talk about here as that pertains to the thread management or the thread manager video session that will be available uh, that you can look at. The thread strategy the same thing. However, for the uh, provisioning ob objective, we have target wins and source wins. If you choose the target wins, that means that if data exists for those tables on the target side, the keys for that table exist, uh, it's going to keep the target side's data. Uh, if you click on the drop down and go to source wins, then if the data exists on the target side, it's going to be replaced by the data that's uh, being extracted from the source. The next one is the obfuscation type and data privacy. This pertains to uh, masking data and in what we call in-stream masking. And this will have another video session, but uh, we just won't we won't be talking about it today. So we go ahead and click on the uh, oh, continue checkbox and now you can see that our uh, project is there and so now the what we need to do is add an a operation so we're going to right click on the uh, project and click on add operation and we're going to be using templates and so we'll go ahead and expand the template folder we have a customer folder and a factory folder the customer folders where customers put their own uh, custom templates in and the factory template is what we deliver with it, the product. So we're going to be using the HRPA template so I select that, assign it to the project, save it, and then go ahead and exit out of this. Alright now we have the project now has an operation and so we want to uh, select the data and so we're going to click on that and right click and add selection. And so a selection screen comes up and there are many ways to slice HR data. The, what we're going to do is just bring over two or three employees. So I'm going to bring in a list of employees, say employee 5, uh, 66, and 72. I'll go ahead and click on that. And then there are other just to note, there are other entities here uh, that are related to employees and uh, like the bank master, cost centers, profit centers, vendor master, etc. We're going to assume that data is already there and so we just save our selection. We're not going to put any selection criteria there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is generate our project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the project and click on the generate icon and we're going to do this in foreground so go ahead and continue and now we're starting to uh, generate the uh, project this can take a couple of minutes so I'm going to pause here for a second and I'll come back once it's finished okay now our project has been generated you can see it by its status here so we can expand the project and we'll see our operations and each one of these Dealies with a lifesaver is an entity. Uh, this is a group, so it would be a group of tables that are going to be provisioned in their entirety, and then other entities. Now, the only uh, since we didn't, we don't really care to bring over the vendor master. We can right-click on it and delete the operation and say yes. Uh, same thing with the cost center. Yes. We're going to keep the human resources tables. We're going to keep the HR employee data template, but we're going to go ahead and delete the uh, bank master and the profit center okay and then what we'll do next is process the project and so we'll just go ahead and click on the process uh, button and it's going to check for validity uh, this is, it says the, product, the system is productive do you want to continue we'll say yes uh, that's a topic for another video session but uh, we're going to do it in foreground and now it's checking to make sure that uh, the project is consistent with the selection criteria that was that was um, entered and it should come back and say everything's just fine okay and now our project is 
consistent it's in a running status and at this point we can go ahead and open up our threads uh, to process these uh, these tables and when it completed completes it will be in a completed status okay and this uh, brings us to the end uh, this is how you create a project and uh, you can join us for the thread management and project monitor uh, video sessions which will go uh, further into the completion of the, the project or I should say the uh, processing of the project to completion well that brings us to the end of this video session uh, we'd love to hear from you you can contact us through support videos at informatica.com or contact us through our Twitter account thank you and have a good day